Coffee. Coffee is like the nectar of life. When you are tired because you work overnights and your building is getting a new roof and you can't really sleep. But you know what the sad thing is about this coffee? Is that I'm really having it for the deliciousness because it is totally decaf. You know when your huh, house is a mess, your life is a mess. I'm a mess. It's where I am right now. Look at that mess. It doesn't be a bit Look sucky, that mess. You got, oh, wait, there's a mess right there. Never mind. Yeah, but that's his mess. Mess, mess, mess. But what I am going to do right now, while I kind of clean up that mess, I'm going to make some tater tot casserole. Ooh. Step one when making tater tot casserole, huh? brown some beef. <laughs> hello hair, hello hair. So I just wanted to share with everybody that I just mentioned how like when your house is a mess, your life is a mess. So I went to go clean up some dishes and I had a big my beautiful cup of coffee that I showed everybody and like I just started rinsing it out and like washing the cup that was my cup of coffee and I took it away from myself I'm making some progress on the mess that was the kitchen but my cast iron skillet got ruined because one of my helpful children's thought they would throw it in the dishwasher. So I want to figure out how to fix my pan. So back to the tater tot casserole. Um, if you've seen any of my previous cooking videos, you know that I tend to be um, very like freewheeling. I'm, I like I'll read a couple of recipes on how something is made and then I'll just like go off and go do it on my own. Um, tater tot casserole is something I know is made 10,000 ways and people have their favorites set the way that their mom or grandma or whoever used to do it because it is kind of a classic comfort food. But this is two pounds of 85% lean ground beef. I'm putting in two like 12 ounce bags of mixed vegetables because, or frozen mixed vegetables because I got to have mixed vegetables in it. And then I'm going to add cream of mushroom soup. So I'm gonna add cream of mushroom soup to this, some ketchup and some Worcestershire sauce. And that's it. And then I'm gonna top it with cheese and tater tots. I'll show you it once I get it all into the casserole dish over here. But uh, yep, we're gonna have a nice comfort food classic for dinner tonight. Oh, I can't talk today. There is my beef mixture. So now I'm gonna layer it with some cheese and tater tots. So I actually used sliced cheese instead of shredded because we had some and I wanted to use it up. So that's easy. I usually buy bricks of cheese and then shred them myself most of the time. Um, sometimes I'll grab shredded just for, I don't know, normally for no good reason. I tend to like to shred my own cheese just because the, uh, um, I don't know, I feel like talking to the camera. I shred my own cheese because there's like a powder that they put on shredded cheese and it's basically just an added carb. And I know there's no like super good reason to be concerned about the minuscule amount of carbs that go into shredded cheese or anything, but I just figure it's just something else that they have to add to it and it feels like more processing to me. So I like to just buy the bricks and shred it myself. Um, that cheese that I just put on there, the sliced cheese, is actually kind of a fancy cheese. It's like this Finlandia organic like it's really good cheese but uh that's what's going on that but yeah so i'm kind of picky about cheese i get shredded cheese but um usually it's mozzarella that i'll buy shredded because mozzarella is a really soft cheese and it's kind of a pain in the butt to shred otherwise any other kind of cheese i'll just buy in a brick and take care of myself my cast iron skillet is almost saved I got like a little spot here I need to get out and a little bit right there, a little bit right here. Basically what happened was is that it didn't get rinsed after being used and then it got put into the dishwasher and now I have like all these bits of like flaking 
part of it's like charcoal and I feel like part of it is just like part of the pan that got rusted. But all I'm doing is, is I'm like cooking hot soapy water on low heat in it to try to break up this stuff so that I can scrub it out and then re-season it. So that seems to be working. Um, there might be like other better ways of repairing a cast iron pan, but uh, this seems to be working for me so far. It's already like rusty because you know the whole episode in the dishwasher and then it not getting dried or anything. So I need to pretty much clean the whole thing out, coat it with some like oil or shortening and then you just like stick it in your oven on low heat, you know, upside down with like a tray under it to catch the drippings and that helps re-season it. So it's beautiful, that. ready to go in the oven. Look at all those tater tots. And there was like three tater tots that didn't fit in the dish perfectly. And guess what? They're going in anyway. So I am totally dyeing my hair right now. You can see the that I'm dyeing it. This is the second batch of hair dye that I'm putting on though. I'm trying to do this like purpley color right here. I'm not sure how the color is gonna translate on the camera, but it's like a black purple, like it's violet. Anyway, I figured that I would try to do that because I'm growing my hair out and my hair is curly and it grows slowly and it's wild all the time. It doesn't matter what I do with it. So I figured, hey, why not dye it purple too so that it can be extra wild. So I'm hoping it turns out. This is my second round of trying to dye it right now though because I'm a genius and guess what I did? I forgot to put the actual like purple color booster into the hair dye. So I dyed my hair just straight black. So I ran out, grabbed another one of the dyes, and this time remembered to put the color booster in there so that it might turn purple, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully it won't be like really, really bad. If it's crazy or it's got like no purple in it, I'm gonna be bummed, but I'll let it grow out for a while, and then I'll probably go and eventually just get it stripped and then professionally dyed some color at a salon and just forget the whole home job. But I'm hoping that it turns out okay because I want it to be purple but I didn't want to go spend a whole bunch of money to get my super short hair dyed like purple professionally. If I had like really long hair, then maybe, 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 but because it's short and I'm gonna be getting it trimmed a lot and stuff anyway, I figured I would just do an at home job. I'm looking at the lens of this camera and it looks like there's a huge smudge on it and I'm hoping that everything is okay because it's like really bad. I hope, <laughs> I can't really see anything wrong with the picture, but this, lens itself is all smudgy so i'm gonna try to clean it right now as i'm talking so i hope everybody got something that they liked out of the universal and disney vlogs that went up oh that's better that's better now you can see my blemishes even more clearly maybe it's better i don't know uh-oh, I hope I didn't just mess up my lens. I might have broke the camera. No. Um, yeah. Uh-oh. I hope that clears up. Uh-oh. Camera troubles. That's okay. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. The light in my bathroom is like really like blinding and garish and making me look really, really white. But then when I go out here, this way, it gets darker and then my face starts to turn really, really red. I see, I don't really have a lot of good lighting in here. I have no natural light going on in the room right now because it's dark outside. And all I'm getting is my like really dull colored overhead light which is whoa hello there we go which is that kind of a light so that light looks white in the camera but it's actually more yellow i don't know not a lot of light in here but anyway so it's, it's okay i don't need it to be perfect i'm not a professional that's the whole point of me vlogging is to learn how to use all this stuff remember i said that once before too so if you've actually been watching my vlogs which i know at least one of you has you'll know that <laughs> I thought you, I thought I thought Courtney was gonna say something. He's over here struggling with editing a Disney vlog 
good now. Is <laughs> which it was a mess. I used two different cameras, and then oh, what did I just do? Oh, that's the timer. Yep. Is it time to rinse my hair? It's time to rinse my hair. Okay, so now I have the conditioner like all pasted up in my hair, and I'm gonna leave it in for a couple of minutes. I'm especially worried because I had to do the hair job twice. I don't know if dyeing my hair again right away and like adding the color booster was the smart thing to do or the right thing to do, but I didn't want my hair to be just solid black. I wanted the purple in there. And I know like, I'm gonna look at myself in the camera here. Eh, you can't really tell that it's in like any kind of purple. It still looks just black, but it looks more purple in real life so i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping that i didn't damage my hair too badly oh i need a beauty guru it's probably a good thing that i have all boys that don't care about things like hair dye or makeup because i would be a horrible person to teach them how to do those things like if i had daughters we'd be learning how to do it together help me i need a beauty guru but I was gonna have Courtney like film all the stuff coming out of my hair, but Simon texted and said he needed to be picked up. So he actually left to go do that instead. So now all you get to see is the conditioner in it. You didn't get to see all the cool foam and purple foam coming out of my head. It was really, really purple. Like if my hair could be the color of purple that the foam came out like, I think that would be awesome. So hopefully when it dries and I get this conditioner washed out of it, We'll be able to tell that it's purple and it won't be just black because that's boring it needs to be purple black or just purple purpley black like more purple than black or at least visibly that there's purple in it yeah get it oh i hope i didn't mess my hair up because now i'm worried about it being all dried out and messed up and that dyeing it a second time in a row won't take the color right oh i don't know help me help me but let's hope for the best. I just washed everything out and you wanna know what's purple? My scalp, my scalp is purple. I don't know if I'm getting this on the camera. I could try to part my hair. I don't know if the camera's getting it, but my scalp is dyed purple. At least that little bit looks purple. Can you believe, oh, what did I do? I hope this looks normal enough. Oh. I hope I didn't like mess up my hair. I don't know, I probably did. Now I need to get a really good shampoo because I like just chemically treated it and I don't like putting chemicals in my hair and I need it to like, I need to get some shampoo that's not chemically treated. Look at that, my scalp is purple. You can see that my scalp is purple. <sighs> what a day, what a day. Anyway, so vlogging, like every day, I don't, like I really wanna do it, I wanna try it. Um, it's been fun, what I have done, it's been really interesting and I have lots and lots of ideas for other kinds of vlogs. But I also, like part of vlogging, I wanted to be able to just like talk to the camera and say like what's on my mind or what's going on or how I feel about things, like a video diary, like I've established many, many times, I just haven't really done it yet. And I was just kind of wondering like how other vloggers do it because there's a lot of daily vloggers that I check out their stuff online and it seems like they put a lot of production into their vlogs. They, it, it looks like some of them plan a lot of things, stage a lot of things. Um, I didn't really want to do that. Like I do plan on planning some things, um, but I wanted it to just be more natural. Like this is how I feel at the moment or this is what I'm doing right now or this is what's going on. I wanted it to be more like that. Do like vloggers who vlog every day like have a camera on them like 24 seven? I just feel like it would be kind of weird to like have a camera on like constantly. You know what I mean? Like on me all the time. There's things that I wish I had vlogged that I didn't and makes me feel like I should have the camera on more often, but, but how do they do it? How much time do you guys think that they actually spend with the camera on them? I'm curious, I wanna know. For those of you who watch vloggers on a regular basis and like let me know what you like about them because i'm really curious about this and like not only ways that i can improve my vlog but just um i just i want to understand other people's process because they seem to put a lot more work into it than i was anticipating so i don't know just to send me some thoughts like what you think like other people are doing that's right and what they do that's like really wrong i don't know just let me know but that's I'm back so and I just realized that I had all my dinner like up in my braces 
and you guys probably saw it the whole time that I was talking doing this vlog today and guess what I'm leaving it because this is real life it ain't pretty so here it is a couple days later I tried fixing my hair and guess what it's just black it's still black it's still black it's just black it's not purple at all even in the sun was it even purple in the sun it's black so no good going to Universal tomorrow um probably gonna ride some rides this time definitely looking for more Halloween Horror Night stuff not that I'm giving good directions for it or anything but uh my hair is black and it's wild and it's growing out all crazy wookie hair I care sometimes bye